Hey everyone, welcome to Analytics in a Multi-Cloud World. I'm Emily Rapp, Product Manager in BigQuery. We are facing a data explosion. 175 zettabytes, that's 21 zeros. 21 zeros of data in the world by 2025. Where is it coming from? We have cat videos, server logs, monitoring, there's retail data. When you're thinking about e-commerce, it's a lot more than just that final transaction. It's every point on the sales cycle. IoT, manufacturing. Even my washing machine is connected to the internet and therefore generating data. We have all of this data at our fingertips, but we just can't quite get to it because we're living in this world of data silos. There's organizational separation. IT departments are often centralized and they are separate from the central data department, if there is one, which are even then further separated into the business units. And those business units also have analysts, data scientists working and trying to understand problems. It's fragmented. You have data originating from a bunch of different sources. It's all in different formats with various levels of processing. This means that our analysts, our data scientists, our users, our users are using too many tools, have to get data from too many places, and they're making too many copies. Why is this happening? A key component is shown in one of the Gartner Cloud adoption surveys. 81% of companies who are using public clouds are actually using more than one cloud provider. And so that means that multi-cloud management is becoming, actually, it is a true challenge. IT leaders, they want to be agile, flexible, secure. And analysts and data scientists, the ones that are actually doing the day-to-day -day work with that data, they're just trying to help their organization make the right decisions. And even if organizations decide to have a centralized data approach, like we talked about in the earlier slide, there's still always going to be separate business units, subsidiaries, partners. Multi-cloud is and will be the world we're working in. We need to solve for these macro challenges. So today, we're introducing BigQuery Omni, a flexible multi-cloud solution that lets you analyze data across clouds. You don't have to leave BigQuery. It's your familiar interface same experience, but now you can actually reach out, reach out across those silos. BigQuery Omni is now an alpha. And what's really cool is that it's powered by Anthos. We don't have to do that moving and copying of data. As a data analyst in the marketing department, BigQuery Omni enables me to use historical sales data in my upcoming marketing campaigns. Using our orders data, we're going to validate the hypothesis that we should be focusing our marketing efforts beyond just food and beverage. Our first query uses the hyperloglog -log approximation function to sort the departments by number of orders. We are using our read-only external connection, retail read, to get the data from the orders external table. The query returns the departments sorted by number of orders. And as we can see, all top 10 are either food or beverage. This validates our hypothesis that we should be focusing our marketing efforts on this customer segment, household or personal care product purchasers. Now we need to build a list of IDs using our customer data set. The customer data has personal information, including name and zip code, and we need that data to stay within the AWS region. However, we do have a de-identified user ID field that we can use in our campaigns. Our next query will build our audience segment, buyers of household or personal care products. Since our campaigns are regionalized, we only want customers from Oregon or Washington. Now we have a list of IDs that can be used in any marketing activation channel. We want this data to be accessible to our marketers, not just the analysts. So I use our right connection to export the query result to the marketing folder that they have access to. And that is how you can use BigQuery Omni for data-driven marketing activation. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? So let's talk about bringing multi-cloud analytics to your data. 
First, we have to break down those silos, get you to getting insights faster. Tap into the power of BigQuery. It's cost efficient, no moving or copying. You just instantly query, instantly get your results with that consistent experience. It doesn't matter if your data is in Google Cloud, AWS, or coming soon, Azure. You can just use the same standard SQL, the same BigQuery familiar interface, write queries, build dashboards, because the reality is data, it's not just numbers. It's not just by stored in some data center somewhere. It's the way that we can actually communicate. We can tell stories. We can answer questions. We want you to be able to have the ability to actually work across those data silos. That data that was at your fingertips, let's get closer to it. And we're able to do that because under the hood, we use Anthos. If we think about BigQuery, BigQuery is the separation of storage and compute. What does that mean? It means you can scale up and say, hey, sometimes when things are going crazy, you may need a little bit more compute. In other cases, maybe now you're gathering a bunch of data and so you need storage. We were thinking about how do we solve this data silo question? But the challenge was we have to figure out how to get compute to the data even if that data is in another cloud. So BigQuery Omni, we run the compute clusters, known as Dremel, on Anthos clusters in AWS. We have a secure connection because it's really critical, we think of that single pane, that the control plane and the metadata can remain on Google Cloud, but only the query result actually passes through the BigQuery routers and then our secure connection to the next region, AWS or Azure. That connection can also be used when users choose to bring the results back. But the key piece is, it's choice for you. You can bring them back or you can do everything within AWS. BigQuery Omni is a fully managed service. A question I hear is, oh, so I have to you know, use my Anthos or my compute? Nope, we got that covered. We do need your storage. And it's really critical that you maintain the access control to that storage. But with the compute resources running locally, all of that's done behind the scenes, and you can just answer those questions. So how do we actually solve some of those business scenarios with BigQuery Omni? This one's funny. This is my old world. Uh, up until recently, in September when I joined BigQuery, I was the uh, infamous marketing analytics ads measurement, specifically, how many people saw my ad? It's a surprising hard question. And actually it's even harder <laughs> to actually think about, okay, now I figured out what's going on in my marketing campaigns. What about my audience behavior in my apps on my site? What impact do those two have on my sales? So let's think about how could we solve that problem? How can we see the impact? We could visualize. So use BigQuery. Query Google Analytics 360 ads data in Google Cloud. And then tap into your e-commerce data and app data that's on AWS S3. Now with Looker, you can build a dashboard. So you or those executives that you know, we all have to worry about can actually look at what the audience behavior is and purchases alongside spend. It's pretty amazing what seeing something visually can do. It's like, oh wait, there's a spike. And then you also talk to people, it's like, no, no, really. Building a dashboard when data comes from all of those different places, and more importantly, making sure that if you share that dashboard with someone, they're not gonna see something that they shouldn't, it's surprisingly challenging. Now let's get a little bit deeper. So this is something I'm sure probably uh, many of you are familiar with, the, okay, my uh, business team said, you need to use the app data that we have to do smart things. And we need that data. And we need that data here. And it needs to be formatted and easy to get to and fast. So as a data engineer, you end up running thousands of daily jobs to process logs and build cross-cloud ETL pipelines. And what happens if those pipelines go down? So I've actually seen it where instead of fixing the pipeline, Companies will sometimes just hire consultants to respond to tickets to answer the questions. It's that complicated. With BigQuery Omni, 
it's not always just about the like getting new things with dashboards. It's looking at your existing workloads and how you can optimize them. You have those petabytes of clickstream logs that we talked about. And for some reason, every app always ends up going into different S3 buckets with Parquet files. Today, you have those thousands of jobs that we talked about running, and all you're trying to do is build audience lists in CSV files of your active users. Replace that with a single SQL query that any analyst can run. So now that any analyst or data scientist can just run a SQL query, let's think about how that data scientist can actually use the data from sales to not just understand their existing audience, but reach new audiences more effectively. Let's get started with BigQuery Omni. In the BigQuery UI on Google Cloud, choose the public cloud region where your data is located and run your query. The same query you would use to work with data that's stored on GCP. The query is passed to the other public cloud and all of the compute is done within that public cloud region. The results are returned to the BigQuery UI or you can choose to export the results directly back to your data storage on that public cloud, which means there's no cross-cloud movement of results or data. You can start using BigQuery Omni right away. There's no need to do any formatting or transformation of your data. BigQuery Omni supports formats such as Avro, CSV, JSON, ORC, and Parquet. You also don't need to move or copy your raw data out of the other public cloud do any cluster management, or provision any resources. All computation occurs within BigQuery's multi-tenant service, which is running on the region where the data is currently located. Behind the scenes, BigQuery's query engine is running on our Anthos clusters within the BigQuery managed service. We get the data from data storage within your account only once you've authorized permissions via your other public cloud's IAM roles. Those roles are tied to a BigQuery Omni connection object you can change, grant, or revoke access at any time, and the connection object can be shared to multiple users within that same project. We maintain a secure connection to bring your query results back to Google Cloud. Welcome to BigQuery Omni. Okay, so we did that query. We exported it back to AWS, and now it's time to activate your cross-cloud data story, which means Think about that Google Analytics data that's coming in. Think about the S3 data storage and take those audience lists and do things like lookalike targeting. Ever had that experience where you buy something and you still see the ad over and over and over again? And you're like, come on, I bought that thing already. Stop wasting your ads on me. Now we can actually solve that because we can tie that commerce data to the ad platform in a safe and secure way. So let's recap. Embrace a flexible multi-cloud analytic solution with BigQuery Omni. We're gonna break down silos, get straight to the getting insights part of data analytics. It's the fun part anyways. Having a consistent experience across clouds. It doesn't matter where your data sets are. You should be able to use the standard SQL BigQuery interface, write your queries, build your dashboards. It's all about taking that consistency and familiarity to accelerate the time to insights. You want to be able to wake up in the morning, check your phone, be like, okay, we're good, and go back to sleep. Not have to worry about writing a whole ton of different queries in different tools before you know the state of your business. And all this is possible because of Anthos. Dremel was built by Google. Dremel is what powers BigQuery. Anthos, it's that next stage. Thinking about that Gartner quote, 81% of companies, it's probably actually more than that, I would say, maybe. Think about everyone has some part of their business that's on some other cloud. And so by bringing the data to you, we bring the compute to where your data is. We worry about the infrastructure don't worry about spinning up clusters, managing them. We got that. You focus on driving the business, doing some really cool data science, making the decisions you need with data, not worrying about how do I set this up and what pipeline should I run? And, oh, wait, they broke. Now I have to hire a whole bunch of people to just 
answer tickets. Let's get started. Get started with BigQuery Omni. Let's take it to the next level. Take your multi-cloud analytics strategy that you built from a platform and IT perspective and bring it to your data. BigQuery Omni is in alpha. So if you're interested, please go to the link and fill out the form. Let's break down some silos.